What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Slackers and look I come equipped with these cool new glasses They're cool, right? Nope. Oh, okay. Sorry Either way today I got a, a, a tier list video. Uh, this is like based off of my opinion again Not that anyone cares, but uh, Basically, I'm gonna be working my way up who I'm most excited to try out like I will and I thoroughly, I mean it, I will be playing every single character. There's 20 new characters I've never played before. Gotta try them all out. But uh, who I'm excited for, working my way up to reveal, well, who's ultimately gonna be my main. So let's just start this off, right? So first up, Lucy's at the bottom. Let me break down the tier list. I should have done that first. So at the top, we do got the characters I plan on maining. Again, card subject to change, but maining definitely play a lot tier two. I think sneaky fun characters, like, oh yeah, I, I could see my, myself playing the, as these characters quite a bit. And then at the bottom, I mean, I at least got to try them out, right? At least got to try them out. I got to give everybody a fair shot. So uh, first up, though, is Lucy. I'll be honest, I, I don't know what Loud House is, um, that, but that's not the reason why I'm not excited. Uh, I, I watched the showcase. She was like, okay, sure. Seems a bit interesting. Again, I got to at least give her a try. I don't know how she's going to end up playing overall. I don't know if uh, I'm going to like the character play style. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but at least for right now, she's starting off in the... I gotta try try them out at least. Next up, though, we got Sandy Cheeks. Yeah, I, I again, kind of the same thing. I don't know if I was really digging what I was seeing, but then again, playing and watching are two different things. So once you get your hands on the character and actually get to try them out, they might be a lot more fun. Or maybe they're right where they belong, in my opinion. So, I don't know. But right now, at least gotta try Sandy out. We'll see how she works. Uh, then the last one in the, I guess, bottom tier, Helga. Uh, don't get me wrong, they described her as a glass cannon, and I like that type of style. I think those are very fun, but I think she might be a little too reliant on her uh, slingshot attack, because, uh, right, most most uh, projectiles can be reflected back, so if she's not hitting these slingshots to pull the opponent in for, or knock the opponent towards her, then could she be difficult? Again, glass cannon. She might get KO'd at like 60% by a lot of characters. And well, maybe that might not be so fun. So maybe a little too reliant on one move. But again, we got to wait to see till the game comes out. Moving to the next tier list up. We're up to the sneaky fun. And the first character I have here, well, I guess technically the last is Lincoln. Lincoln seems interesting. Again, the water gun might be could be a very big make or break character. Do I enjoy playing it? Do I enjoy using the water gun? Maybe. Maybe that's what makes him extremely sneaky fun type of character, right? Maybe maybe just that insta stun. That might be all it takes and I'll be like, yeah, I kind of like this character. Maybe I want to keep playing this guy. But yeah, there's Lincoln nonetheless. Right next to him, we got uh, Michelangelo. Uh, I grew up Ninja Turtles, but I'll be honest, I, I, I bought them, I played them in Injustice 2. Uh, not that they're not hype, because they are for me. I like the Ninja Turtles. It's just, for this game, they're not necessarily towards the top of my list for characters that I'm like, yep, that's definitely going to be one of the characters that plays the most. But, again, they could be sneaky fun. They're the Ninja Turtles. They're like a character that you've played before, so you know how they're going to play, and then it's kind of like, I want to try all the new toys first. And then once everything kind of settles, you're like, all right, let's go back to, oh, hey, the Ninja Turtles are here. So maybe that's what happens with that one. But uh, right next to him, same thing with Leonardo. Nothing against the turtles. N nothing negative against any character on this list. Let me make that clear. Nothing negative. I'm excited to try out every single one. But, you know, sneaky fun Leonardo. Uh, a lot of people are clamoring that he's going to be top tier so far. I'm not basing this off of what we see in gameplay. Let's actually have people play the game before we make legit tier list. I, I get the irony because I'm making a tier list video, but I'm... Yeah, uh, this one's based off my opinion, so it's much different than everyone else's, I, I guess. <laughs> uh, up after, uh, or I guess before Leonardo, Zim. I haven't seen too much of him, but just based off what we've seen so far, at the time of recording, his moveset video has not dropped. That could have changed. I'm recording this on Wednesday, and it's getting uploaded on Friday. So today should be Friday. And if Zim, his moveset happened to get released on Thursday, well, I technically haven't seen it yet, so... Uh, I do think he could be very sneaky fun with his projectile, maybe his mix-up game. I don't know how he's going to play. Just I just kind of have based off of the initial reveal trailer. That's all I got going. So he could be sneaky fun. He could move up quite a bit. Maybe he falls a little bit. I don't know. So right now he's just kind of 
He could be sneaky fun. After or before him, Patrick Star. Big grappler, all those uh, command grabs could be fun. Could be fun. Could it be sneaky fun? You know, I'd just pop on and be like, you know what? I kind of want to feel like I want to ruin some people's day. So let's uh, let's go Patrick here. So that could kind of be where he is. Uh, we'll see what when the dust settles. And the first or last character for the sneaky fun category, I think April O'Neil. I think uh, she could take a tiny bit uh, of getting used to, I think, well, every character could, but uh, getting used to with the, the, the camera flashes, the photography, taking the pictures, whatever that was, kind of building that up, learning when to use the mic jab for her neutral attack to release all that, uh, the what is it, like the energy or the power that she builds up. She could be sneaky fun. She could be a top-tier character once, you know, everything settles, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Now we're moving to, I'm definitely going to play them a lot, regardless of we, if we've seen them or not, so the last in the row... Korra. All right. So we, we know we, if you've been paying attention and you haven't been avoiding leaks, you know, the entire roster. So yes, Korra is definitely going to be on here. I just imagine fun. I just imagine, yep. I will pick that character up. Yep. I will play that character. Yep. I will try to understand how the character works more than some of the other characters on the roster. So Korra, definitely next to Korra, Toph, same thing. I uh, just character that I really believe I would play I, like we haven't even got the official reveal for these characters and yet I'm already like yeah these are characters I will play a lot regardless I will even if I don't like their play style I will adapt and try to learn how their play style is supposed to be so yeah that that's the story for them next to Toph Danny Phantom Ooh, he looks he looks like uh, at first I was gonna put him in sneaky fun but I think uh, he might be a very solid character all around he's got that uh, was it the ghost shout or ghost scream or whatever that thing was? Didn't that KO at really early percentage? That move could be broken depending on where you use it on the battlefield if you're chasing off stage. Say your opponent, say you knock him off stage, right? First attack, you hit him with a, a strong neutral attack, right? Gets sent off stage. And then you go for the ghost shout, ghost scream thing, whatever that's called. Could that KO if you're off stage like super easily? I don't know. That could be kind of fun. Chasing down your opponents. Ooh, I kind of like that style. Go off stage a little bit. Don't be afraid to go off stage. So, could be fun. Uh, next to Danny, we got Oblina. We just had Oblina's uh, moveset reveal. I was going to play Oblina regardless. I grew up with All Real Monsters. That was kind of one of my favorite shows. And just to see her in the roster was a huge surprise. And then to see how she plays actually looks solid. So, I'm as an Oblina fan, I was very pleased with what i seen. I like, I like a lot of it. I like a lot of it. So... She could be fun. She could be very fun. I don't know if she would. I don't know if she'll necessarily be. Uh, okay, who cares about tier list in terms of who we think is going to be top tier? We don't know. For all we know, everybody's going to be equally top tier. Everyone's going to be S tier. I, it could happen. I doubt it, but it could. Uh, next to Oblina, SpongeBob. I mean, come on. He's like the Mario of the game, right? He's going to be very user friendly. He's going to be the the perfect sort of character to just pick up. If you're playing the game for the first time, if you're playing this type of game for the first time, SpongeBob's going to be pretty much the go-to for a lot of people. Obvious reasons. Next to SpongeBob, Ren and Stimpy. Fans of Ren and Stimpy, I was going to play them anyway. Like that uh, they kind of beat the crap out of each other for their moveset, which is very fun. Very Ren and Stimpy. So, personality-wise, gameplay-wise, they look fun. Uh, I don't... I could see them actually kind of moving down a little bit my list of most played characters, but uh, again, got to play the game first. Got to play the game first. And uh, the first character in, definitely going to play them a lot, Cat Dog. Oh, they, so many people, again, based off what we've seen, not played, Cat Dog looks to be incredibly, incredibly good once you master the character. And if they can, well, they're going to be good. They're, they're just a character, again. A character that I really wanted, even before that box art leak came out, they would have been a character I would have been like, yes, I want Cat Dog, and I'm going to play Cat Dog. I'm glad they're in the game. They look great. Can't wait to try them out. Now we get to the mains. Yes, you can have more than one main character. It's a thing. It's possible. So first one, or last one, technically, for my main, going to go Aang. I think Aang has so much potential. So many, just, I don't know. I just envisioned such a fun time playing as Aang. And plus, I just know who he is. Again, it's it's uh, the way I like to envision characters once we uh, get them revealed for the first time. I like to picture how they're going to play. And then if they 
play pretty much how you picture them, I already know pretty much what to expect going into it. So I have an idea of what I think Aang is going to play like, how his play style is going to be. Just a different change of pace character from the type that I'm used to. I'm into more... I like playing a bit more of the heavier characters in Smash Bros, but this game might be a little bit different. And that's where Aang comes in. So, uh, my third main that I think will happen, Nigel Thornberry. I just, I, I love this guy. <laughs> he's, 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 he's the meme pick. Why, why would you not want, why, why, why would you not give this guy a chance to shine on the roster? Why would you not give him a chance? Some of those moves, that scorpion sting looks great. Uh, what else did he have? That worm? Oh my god, the worm dodges any attack? That's enough to... How about a worm party? Everybody get online, do a four-player match, and everybody does the worm for the five-minute time period that you're given for the match. Worm party, let's go. And then the top two... Potter Toast, man. Captain Fel he gets a lot of comparisons to Captain Falcon. Again, at the time of recording, we still haven't seen his move... Or I haven't seen his move set reveal. Maybe he came out Thursday. I don't know. I, this is... One of the two characters that I've been looking forward to the most to see more information, to see his actual moveset. And of course, he's coming down to like one of the last three characters that we haven't seen yet. It's like, oh, really? Two of the characters I'm excited for the most I haven't seen yet. But Powder Toast Man, I feel, will just be such a fun blast. Just a great character to play. No matter how he looks in his reveal or his uh, gameplay trailer, his moveset breakdown trailer, whatever that thing is called, I'm playing him regardless. He's going to be one of my mains. And then, of course, that only leaves one character for base roster, Reptar. So that since the game released, since the game released, Reptar, number one character, will be my main. From day zero, I've said that. So that's not changing. Reptar is the type of character. Like I said, I like heavier characters. And I think, depending on if he can go off stage a lot, maybe he's kind of like K. Rule. Maybe he's got some nice spikes in there, maybe some sort of down air. Every character's got a spike so far, but there we go. That That's my list. That's who I'm most excited to play from most to least. Again, every character, you got to give them a proper try before you just go, no, nah, character's not for me. Again, nothing wrong with any of these characters. Not bashing on any single one of them. I'm excited to try out every single one of them. Some more than the others based on the tier list, but... That's what that's for. Uh, that is all I got for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which characters you plan on maining, whether it's 1 or 20. I don't know. For me, I think 4, maybe 5 with Cat Dog if he bumps up, but we'll see how that goes out. But I got 4 mains that I think will be my mains. Anyway, that is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed as always. And I guess I'll see you when I'm looking at you.